खाली कर दो You want us to start? Are you counting? Start. Good morning from India. I'm Ashok Chatterjee here in Ahmedabad. I've been associated with design education for several years, and I'm the jury captain of the category for the awards on design for social impact. With me are my team members, who I will introduce to you now. A Professor Anil Gupta of the Indian Institute of, of here in Ahmedabad and the founder of the Global Honey Bee Network on Social Innovation and head of India's National Innovation Foundation. Next to Anil Gupta is Professor Kumar Vyas, who has been a pioneer in design education in this country. Uh, the winner this year of the Sir Misha Black Award in the UK and a founder of the National Institute of Design, a product designer and educator. Uh, to my left is Sujit Toshet, communication designer, social activist, historian, and author, who teaches design at the Center for Environmental Technology and Training here in Ahmedabad. And with her is Vikram Parmar, product designer, doctoral candidate at Delft University on designing rural health systems, and now assisting new Ahmedabad University in establishing design studies in collaboration with Stanford University. Vikram and Suchitra are going to introduce the uh, category of the nominees that we have for notables. Vikram? Yeah. Thank you, Ashok. So I'll begin with uh, notable entries from students, followed by professionals uh, by Sachitra. So we we have about eight notables. So notable one is the project called Common Sense, an art exhibit about the American dream by Carl Sluis and Craig Stover. Notable two project is One Down by Philip Wahe. Notable 3 is Lien by Jupon Wang. Notable 4 is Made in the Dark by John Fraser, Ruby Steele, Hal Watts, Kushbu Dublish and D. Topo. The next 4 notables in the student category are Thrive Potionware by Sally Me. Pure Water Bottle by Timothy Whitehead, U-Haul Emergency Response Conversion Kit by Peng Tao Yu, and the last one, the Spark Project by Arash Shirinpar. In the professional category, there were three notables. The first one is Safe Agwa by Design Matters and the Art Center College of Design. The second one is Chilote House Shows Shoes by Stephen Kersig Kerestigian. I'm we're sorry if some of these names are mispronounced. We're doing our best. These are somewhat unfamiliar to us. Uh, this project was done in co-creation with artisan women in the Patagonia. And the third in the professional category, the notables. Uh, according to us, was Design for America by Design for America, uh, which was done for the McCormick School of Engineering and Sigal Design Institute in Northwestern University. Would you like to give us your right. comments on this experience? The notables? It was hard to decide on uh, um, many of the entries because all of them were so diverse uh, and uh, local cultural needs and um, um, it, we tried to um, for which um, had a universal appeal um, and uh, yeah so uh, I think in addition to that these entries very clearly demonstrated the 
the <coughs> the variety of role design as a profession could play uh, when it comes to creating awareness when it comes to working for uh, less able so there is a very great uh, idea of using smell as one of the senses then uh, talking about problem of the issue of having a pure water when you are travelling so the entries have touched upon different aspects of the different aspect of our daily lives and it has again and again uh, given us evidence that design indeed could be a very instrumental uh, uh, profession in bringing different disciplines together and uh, these kind of efforts would really promote design as a profession thank you vikram thank you chitra and now we do ask uh, anil gupta to give us uh, the information about the runners up and winner categories that we have selected anil i uh, have been involved with design innovation creativity at the grassroots for quarter century i was very intrigued by some of the entries in this round the first runner up for this uh, competition is a hub the painless vaccination by george wrestler it's a kind of a patch which makes the task for the children but particularly very comforting the second runner up is coral rasa by derek benyon who has designed a, a very integrated device which can do various measurements in under the water these are both in the student category right and the winner for the student category or yeah winner for the student category is go bug by greg cards and tom rim and they have designed a very interesting interface where children who are autistic who are suffer from autism can collaboratively learn and i think the most remarkable thing about this innovation was this design was that they can help each other learn though they suffer from the same disability among the professionals notable number 1 is safe agwa by design matters art center college of design and they have developed a safe water access a device for the safe water access for the families living in the latin american slums we gone through that we need the not the runner up in the winner notable two is chilote house of okay. the runner up one for this category is preserve toothbrush by preserve products and continuum and there are up two is how many bench by less sismo designer frederick lecord and anton pingolio the winner which i would like to say a few word is a is the fourth amendment wear by matthew ryan and the interesting thing is when you go for x rays at airport for security purposes the fourth amendment declaration is seen by the people who are doing your scanning so that it reminds them that they have certain responsibilities under the fourth amendment on the whole i must say that these runners up and the winners signify a great urge to transcend the barriers of imagination in terms of where design can make an impact and i must say that the entries by the students were a shade better than by the professionals that only tells us about the coming generation of designers with who have much more promise than perhaps the previous generation thank you and i'm sure on that note we can encourage lots of students all around the world I'd now like to ask Kumar Vyas to give us his um, ideas on what we have learned as a team from this whole experience of the course of the Seven Design Awards, and how perhaps we might apply this experience to what we do in it in our country here in both design education and design <coughs> practice. Over to you, Kumar. Thank you, sir. Course seventy seven design awards uh, there this time some fifteen categories quite lot. Uh, uh, I found that, uh, that uh, apart from uh, the usual run of the design categories, there are some quite unusual uh, and exciting uh, categories. Uh, besides. designed for social impact on which uh, we all work there was a, a never so light and uh, speculative objects and concepts i think that was quite interesting 
Then there was do it yourself, which I thought quite interesting, and uh, service design, and finally design education and initiative. I think these are this uh, have put uh, for us quite uh, inspirational. Uh, all this can act as a great source of inspiration for design education. is an educators and practitioners in uh, this part of the world especially in there is a great scope of bringing the similar challenges to help formulate course material for young design learners in our uh, design schools and institutions uh, we do hope the details of these categories will be made available to us soon uh, and we look forward to it thank you Thank you, Kumar. It might be interesting for our viewers to know that we here uh, in India are hoping to take this learning forward. We're going to initiate, uh, with the help of the team that you've just met, a possibility of encouraging design ideas and out-of-box thinking. in our equivalent of inner city schools in this city as a start we were also thinking that perhaps with the permission of the organizers we could help move the core 77 uh case materials the entries that have been received some of our studios and classrooms and design schools in india if that's all right with the organizers it would be a great way of sharing this experience and There's another suggestion which we are working on as an inspiration from what has happened. Design festival in our city. More thinking, more ideas, more involvement of the kind of freshness and innovation that we have seen here. So before we wind up, I'm going to ask my colleagues whether they would like to add a word to what has been already said. Vikram, can we start with you? Do you like to add anything to what you? Yes, just a. Uh, Uh, short note that we would love to be part of this competition if it continues uh, in coming years, because uh, the fact that the focus has changed actually from Western to uh, uh, emerging economies, uh, it's interesting uh, to participate uh, uh, in issues that uh, that are more relevant here, and we could be in a better position to judge them and uh, give feedback to designers in the other. the possible role they could play even in these economies so again uh, thank you uh, for uh, inviting us for participating in this uh, competition thanks so chitra any more to add yeah i thought perhaps that design for social impact was a bit of a misnomer because all design has social impact mm. and um, and it also sounds very way too serious um, in in its um, uh, in its phrasing but surprisingly the entries were playful and um, light hearted yet engaging with social and cultural issues and that was very rewarding to see from different parts of the world so thank that you, was Sir, something Sir. about thank you kumar would you like to add anything to what you said uh well i would uh, personally uh, would like to get uh, involved uh in a uh, uh, promoting some of these uh, uh, outcomes in uh, uh, our uh, design schools and design institution maybe starting with uh, instruction like next range of design at uh, in amdavad good that be wonderful anil last word to you and i would say that why restrict it to only the designers which are who are formally trained why not bring in designs by self trained self educated people who may not be really trained very much but who have ideas And uh, Honeybee Network would be very keen, and where students and designers can work on ideas of common people. Right. So that's uh, what I look forward to, and maybe a roving uh, of all the entries uh, that have made to the final jury. Thank you. I think that's an interesting idea because the Honeybee Network in itself is a global network, and I think then we would be bringing the course of the sudden uh, effort. We have another global network which will be mutually strengthening to both. Well, on behalf of all of us in the 
jury for the design for social impact category. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you to all of those who submitted entries in this category. You've given us a lot of food for thought, and we've been delighted to go through your entries. Thank you for tuning in, and goodbye from Ahmedabad, from all of us here. Thanks once again. Goodbye.